the egg. What a fascinating contraption. Look at it. I liken it to uh, a chicken's period. Um, anyways, so this is uh, what we will be working with. Um, I'm going to teach you this, this very confusing uh, food item. A lot of people, they see the egg, they get scared. And that's, that's normal. That's normal to get scared by the egg, because it, it is scary. We don't really know how eggs work. Uh, it is the beginning stages of life. Which came first? The chicken or the egg? We don't know. But we, what we do know is uh, that we're going to hard boil this shit. What you're going to want to do is uh, take your egg, put them on the side. This ensures that the yolks go to the center this has to do with um, the fibers uh, weakening and the uh, the cellular biology um, and you know like physics and the, it it just uh, works. Just just take my word for it. It's it's gonna work. It's gonna make your eggs look nice. And you you put them in there for a day, and then shut the fuck up. And then you just it, you just that's it. All you will need is a medium or large saucepan with a lid, this slotted spoon with uh, holes in it, a bowl, liquid measuring cup, a lot of water, some ice, and yeah, you're gonna you're gonna need a couple eggs. So first off, you're going to want to put the eggs in first. Now, why do we do that? Well, because uh, we want everything to cook evenly in this shit this thing. Um, I'm gonna do four because four is a magic number. Next what you're gonna want to do is uh, get some tap water and fill up the uh, saucepan until it gets to about an inch over top of the eggs and I'm not saying like a guy measuring his dick inch, I'm saying like an actual inch, you know? Because um, you want to make sure these Shits are covered. Now while you're waiting for uh, the eggs to set for 10 minutes in the uh, saucepan, right now would be a really good time to make your ice bath. And, and what I suggest using is uh, as much ice as you can possibly get, um, the coldest water you can possibly get, just make sure the shit is cold, you know, even even if you have to like put it in the fridge or something, go ahead, you know, just, just do that shit because it's it's your it's your kitchen. And you get to decide. Okay, so next what you're gonna wanna do is uh bring the water to a high boil. Now, this is important because um, you want to get big, huge fucking bubbles going, like a big rolling boil. Um, and uh, once you get to a boil, uh, then you take the eggs off the uh, boiler and let it set for 10 minutes. Okay, so uh, what you really want is like this blub 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 at the top. Uh, this is called a rolling boil, and uh, so this is the perfect uh, temperature you want it. So you're going to uh, cover it with a lid. Uh, you're going to remove it from the heat, and then turn off the heat. So you're going to want to let this set off the heat for 10 minutes, uh, but if you want creamier yolks in the middle, I would suggest 8 minutes, but for the next episode, uh, I will be doing deviled egg recipe in which you will need harder yolks. So I suggest 10 minutes if, if you want to, you know, watch my next video. So once your timer goes off, you're going to immediately start draining it, you know, like like the gang, like you're, you're draining the gang, or, the, or is that what they say, the drain gang? Um, yeah, just, just drain it, I guess.
Now that you've drained your eggs, just start fucking knocking that shit around. Get it all, get it all cracked up. Get it all broken up, cause you're gonna, you're gonna want it broken up. I'm telling you, cause you want the, you want the water, the ice and stuff to get in there and and get under the eggs, and so it's easier to peel. All right, then you're gonna wanna transfer your eggs into the ice bath and let them set for, I'd say like a good five minutes. Uh, just enough so they cool off but not cool off too much. Next, you're going to want to start peeling your eggs. Uh, I recommend doing this in the ice bath just because uh, you risk uh, getting gouges in your eggs if you don't do this. Um, also, you can get all the excess pieces off, which feels is a lot easier. And you can just get rid of the shit after you're done, right? I chose a different knife. I didn't really like the other one. It was kind of stupid. I like this one more. I think it's cool. It's blue. Um, I like it. Alright, so we have successfully made um, a hard-boiled egg. I, you can season it with whatever you feel like, um, you know. I just put simple salt and pepper on this. Uh, if you want to make the deviled egg, which will be in my next video, you might want to skip this step. But um, if you want to go ahead and just eat your hard-boiled eggs now, uh, go ahead. Man, I can't wait to dig into this. This looks- look at this. This looks so good.